thought, oh, I should quit my day job and become a dragster. Thanks to today's sponsor, Draggy, an all-in-one portable GPS performance monitoring device. Check out our link in the description below for a unique discount and more information on Draggy's list of features. Enjoy today's video. Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Finally, I've got Gone in Zero to 60 back. Yes, Gone in 60 videos are back and I am so excited because today I am in the new Mark 8.5 Fiesta ST from Ford. Now on paper, Ford say that this will do 6.5 to 62. And I'm here to see if I can beat that, match it, or to find out if Ford are lying to us. So I've got the car in race mode. So that turns the ESC off and basically puts everything to the max. So throttle the lot. So um, all we can do is find out. So now this car's actually got launch control as standard, which means I've got the performance pack. So I've got a limited slip diff at the front. So let's go. All right, we're on a limiter. Let's let it build a bit and off the clutch. Oh. And that is 60. Wow. Now, surprisingly, that felt pretty quick, but because it's front wheel drive, launch control is a bit of a gimmick. And when you do launch it, it sounds like you're gonna break a drive shaft. It doesn't sound very pleasant, but let's pull over and find out the time that we did. Oh, I'm feeling very confident that I've beaten it or I've severely got egg on my face. Right, so now we've stopped in a relatively safe area. Let's have a look what Draggy's given us. Ah, so I said earlier on that this car apparently will do 6.5 to 60. Now I will give you a disclaimer. It is about nine degrees as the car says currently. So it is a bit cold because we are heading into the winter months, but I've got blistering sun in my face also. So it's a bit conflicting, but nevertheless, I'm digressing. Draggy has given me a zero to 60 time of 7.13. Hmm. So I'm about six tenths off pretty much, which is quite a lot. But I find that actually pretty good because as I said, this is front wheel drive and it's always hard to get a really decent figure in conditions like this, especially. So what I'm gonna do is in good, true, gone in zero to 60 fashion, I'm gonna do another two runs and hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing happens to the car. Sorry to Ford UK in advance if something does, but it should be reliable. But yeah, anyway, let's line up and go for run number, number two. two. Again, I'm gonna keep it in racetrack mode because earlier on I did it with traction on and it really didn't make any sense. Uh, it just really bogged down at the start. And to be fair, even bogged down in this mode. But a fun fact with racetrack mode is it changes the digital display at front and it gives me a rev counter. And of course, with this car, I can now flat foot shift, so I don't even have to lift off the throttle, which is good when you're doing times, getting every millisecond out as much as you can. So let's go. Run number two. Oh, forgot to select launch control. So let's try that again. Three, two, one. Ah, that sound. spin into second. <laughs> ah, that felt quicker. It's almost like the car's learned what I need it to do, to go faster. So yet yeah, again, let's turn around, give the car a little bit of a rest and find out what run number two gave us. Right, let's get this turned round. Unfortunately, the turning circle isn't as good as I thought it would be. Right, let's try and actually get out of the sun this point, this time, but hopefully not block anyone. Oh, I'm not getting out of any sun. Right, run number two results. Let's find out, shall we? 
It's got to be quicker. It has to be. And it is! Yeah! Woo! 6.51. One off. Oh my God. And you know what? We're going to do it again because I want to try and beat that. That is impressive. 6.51. Wow. If you can see it on my phone, if not, I will pop it up on the screen for you. And that is a valid run. Wow. 6.51. Very impressive. But it's not oppressing enough because, yes, I'm keeping up the tradition. I'm going for a third run. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. 6.51. Oh, I should quit my day job and become a dragster. The third and final run for your entertainment. Your entertainment only. Hopefully not my suffering. All right, first gear. Full throw. Oh, again. For some reason, I select launch control and it then disappears and times out. So you've got to press OK again on the dashboard. Right, let's try that again. 3,000 revs. Three, two, one. Ah! Wheel spinning second again. Ah! <laughs> this thing can absolutely Oh, shift. I would say something else, but I don't want to get demonetized. Don't want that. <laughs> this thing is ferocious. Especially from a three cylinder engine. You wouldn't think it. But. <laughs> Let's turn around for the third and final time and uh, give this car a little bit of a well deserved rest. I tell you, all this scientific work really does get you going. Oh, I'm a little bit tired. Maybe that's because I'm up at ridiculous time in the morning. Probably is the reason for it, but I'll say it's because of this scientific work that I'm doing here for you guys. All right, out of the sun again, and let's find out the results of run number three. <laughs> so pretty near again, but this time I did a 6.55. So the second run was the fastest, only just just, but that is impressive guys. Really, well and truly impressed. And no, I'm not gonna do another run because that's when things happen. Know your limits with everything. But anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the return of Gone in Zero to 60, I sure have. And I have to say, I am impressed that we managed to match full claim time of 6.5 seconds. Of course, that probably helps by the increased torque from 290 newton meters to 320, and it's made that much difference. Every single gear, it pulls like a train. But anyway, that is it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, of course. Comment on what you think, and if you've got one of these and you've managed to go even faster than I have, please do share. But anyway, until next time, I will see you guys very soon. <laughs> One more pull for fun. <laughs> Goodbye, guys.